about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know In last episode I had an express tour down to Trogir to inspect the boat I had found on Yacht World and then back to Norway to sail a regatta with the Volvo Ocean Race boat, the Green Dragon. And just a few days later I'm on plane south towards Croatia all over again. I now placed my offer and was excited to have a first sea trial with my future boat. Normally a sea trial is not more than a few hours, but Mr. Moles arranged so that we could join for an overnight sail out the international waters and via the Dees Island back to Trugir. This is not my first boat. I have owned several sailing and motorboats through the years. In fact, I was grown up with a yacht production and my first boat was built according to my own specifications, only 7 years old. In Norway you will need certificates for sailing a yacht of this size, and if, if you are sailing outside of Scandinavia you will even need to level up the certificates, including celestial navigation. Because this yacht has been stored on the hard for a while, we have to mount the lazy bag, lines and all the sails. It was a hard work in this temperature and I'm so thankful having these amazing guys helping me. This full button main cell is 77 square meters and it's more than a handful. Unfortunately we did not have that much wind but we had an awesome sunset and we run the engines for hours. So I used the opportunity to ask tons of questions about the boat, uh, because these two guys, they knew everything about this boat. And it was time to leave this breathtaking island Vis. And, uh, it's not my first time sailing in Croatia. This is from when I was uh, sailing solo for four weeks with a Chanel Sanodis 440. It's a beautiful country to sail in. After when uh, Andre is finished, set up. Then it was time to sail back to Trogir. And uh, next hours, uh, these two amazing guys still continue to help me out with uh, tips and tricks and uh, even did some uh, adjustments here and there. Thomas, yes? Uh, stay on the rudder. Yes? Uh, Thomas need me to... Uh, okay. it was time to get the boat back on the hard again and um, I need to have a conversation with Miss Moles that was uh, the sales representative for uh, Boatseed 
And in uh, Croatia there are several brokers, um, more or less um, professional, and they try to sell the same boat. In this case it was the most expensive broker that really had all the documents. So I used the cheapest broker to negotiate the price down with the most expensive broker. But uh, that was really, really a good choice because uh, not even very, very professional, but uh, he really followed me all the way through this process. The next episode will be from Trugir. It's on boat work and crazy creation go bananas during the football semi-finals.